Hey guys, welcome back to another review, and today I'll be taking a look at the Transformers Kingdom Voyager Class Dinobot. So here he is in his, I believe this is called a Velociraptor mode? I believe this is what the animal he is, is a Velociraptor. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not a dinosaur expert, but I'm pretty sure that's what he is. So, but here he is in his dino mode, and um, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, could be better in some areas, and we'll we'll cover that. But um, overall, I do think it looks pretty all right for the most part. Um, he does have a nice head sculpt. I do like it. Got some got nice detail in there for the eyes. And you have his teeth, and he can open and close his mouth, which sometimes it can be a pain in the butt. Come on. Like, sometimes I gotta get him to look down, and then. But yeah, you can see, he, his teeth are all painted white, and he does have a, you know, red in there for the tongue, so that is nice. Um, he does have a lot of, well, all throughout the figure, he has that very, like, textury, kind of leathery kind of feel to him. So I do kind of like that, and you can see all the, like, the painted detail throughout. And, um, yeah, you come to the back here, and it's just his, his legs and his uh, chest pieces right here on his thighs. But, I mean... It, yeah, it doesn't really bother me. And of course, you have the the purple tip for the tail, so because that's where his uh, sword is. But um, I mean, it doesn't really bother me too much. No, the one thing that does bother me about this figure are his stupid hands. I just he I don't like his hands. I, he, I just oh, I think his hands are so stupid. They sh they should have been a lot smaller, and they should not look like this. I mean, he looked like he's just doing a just, oh, do, 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 kind of do. -y. You know, goopy look with the with his hands, and I think it just looks retarded. I mean, I just think it looks really stupid. Um, I mean, they're on a ball joint, so I guess that's nice. But I just, I, I just think it looks. I don't like the way it looks. I'm sorry, I really don't. Um, but I mean, other than his hands, I think he looks pretty good. Um, as far as articulation in the Dino mode goes, uh, the head doesn't rotate at all, which I think is a missed opportunity. I feel like they could have put like a, a swivel joint in here, but he can look down all the way and can open his mouth. Um, his arms, they can go out there on a swivel joint up here. He does have an elbow joint, and again, the claws are on a ball joint at the wrist um and then the legs can just go forward they can go back and then he has an ankle swivel and that's about it for articulation the tail does absolutely nothing but that doesn't really bother me so uh for comparison uh, i figured to bring out um the leader megatron from this line so you can see how they look together and i think they look good together i do think they scale pretty good so they look nice together that barney over here but um for dino mode though, that's about all I gotta say, so I suppose we will get down to the uh, transformation. So first thing you want to do is take this tail and rip it off, and then you'll use it. This will be his uh, weapons in robot mode. And then the next thing you want to do is just kind of get things untabbed, so you can kind of come back here and untab his, his feet from the back and kind of bring his legs down, kind of untab them and bring them down. Let's get that going on. You can then take the his velociraptor head and bring that down, and that'll tab into place. He then can take his waist and rotate it around so you have everything facing forward. Then you want to flip up his feet and you want to come back here to his heel spurs and bring them out. Let's bring them, kind of flip them out, which this one on mine is stupidly tight. So you bring them out and there you have his legs all done. You want to take this section here, bring this back, you can see that reveals his head. You want to bring this entire section up. And then you will want to take it and it'll kind of just sit right there like so. You don't want to take this section and kind of bring this around, kind of bring this around. And then you want to take these panels and fold them out like so. You then want to take this section and bring it down, rotate this forward so you have something that looks like that. And let me raise up the camera just a little bit, see what I'm doing. So you have everything. It was... I don't know if you saw, but it was like this, and then you just kind of want to take it and bend it all forward so that it tabs together like so. And then there's a tab right here that'll go into the back of the head like so. Then you want to take the uh, Velociraptor arms, and there's a tab here and a slot in the hand. You just want to take them and tab them in. Then you want to fold them up like so, so they're kind of sitting like that, so you want to take this and bring this down and tab it in like so. You want to bring it up and bring it around. Make sure that all stays tabbed in. Then you're going to want to take this section and, well, actually you want to take this 
sorry, first you want to bring this down and then you want to bring up the dyno arms and then there's a tab right in here that's going to go into the Velociraptor hand like so. If I can get it tabbed in there, there we go. So actually, sorry, first you want to do bring this down and then bring these up and then you want to tab all of this in place like so. So tab that in, get this all lined up, tab that in and that kind of forms his 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 faux face, so or the, you know the dino head for his chest. So then you can take these sections and rotate them around, bring them down. You want to rotate them at the wrist and then click collapse his fingers. Rotate this around, bring this down, collapse his fingers, rotate his wrist around, save everything orientated properly, and then you want to just take this section here and it'll just come down and collapse against his back, like so. You want to tab, you do want to actually tab the head section and it will tab in and then you can finish collapsing this up and there you have the kingdom voyager class dinobot fully transformed and in his robot mode and um i have mixed feelings on this guy i think for a voyager mainline dinobot i think he looks really good but unfortunately from pictures and from watching the tv show I have been cursed to always have the Masterpiece Dinobot in mind when I think of a Dinobot. So seeing him, it looks weird because I'm so used to seeing the Masterpiece one, even though I don't own it. This one looks weird to me. But, I mean, as a figure, though, I think he's really good. But we're getting closer on the head sculpt. And I will say, head sculpt is spot on. The head sculpt is absolutely amazing. I think I don't think they could have done better with this. I think it looks exactly like it looked in the show. I really do love his head sculpt. And I mean, the details overall look really good. I do like the kind of goldish color here for the legs. And also, in uh, Transformation, I did forget to do something. I forgot to flip these panels out for his Velociraptor mode. You want to actually bring these out. I did forget to do that. So before someone says in the comments that, oh, you didn't do this. Yeah, I know. I, f I forgot to, to bring these out. But you do want to bring these out when you're going into Velociraptor mode. And then when you're coming to robot mode, you do want to close them up. So, oopsies, my bad. But, um, yeah, I do think he looks really good. And I do think he cleans up fairly well. I mean, he just has a little stump on his back. But I think it's 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 pretty dang good for what we could have gotten. So, uh, as far as articulation goes, the head is on a ball joint. So, you can kind of do what you want with it. The arms do a full 360. They can go in and out. Well, they can go out on this hinge. They also have a hinge right here. He does have a bicep swivel. He does have an elbow bend. He does have a wrist swivel. And the hands can open and close. He does have a waist swivel, legs can go forward, I can go back that far, he can do the full splits. He does have a thigh swivel, which is very tight on my copy, um, does have a 90 degrees of bend at the knee, the foot can move down, can't really move up, and he does have full uh, ankle tilt. Now, my issues with this figure are, I think his proportions are a little off. I think his shoulder pads are way too small, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be bigger, at least that's how it looks in... You know the show. I believe these are supposed to be bigger, and I think his hands are just way too big. His fingers are really, really big for what they're supposed to be, and his arms are very skinny. Like Dinobot is a beefy dude. Like he's bulky. He's got some muscle, and his arms, in my opinion, and his shoulder pads are just like very small compared to what they're supposed to be. And I think that kind of throws off his proportions a little bit because again, he has freaking huge hands but small arms or very skinny arms. But that's just my personal preference. I think it looks weird. Some may differ, disagree, and that's fine. But again, that's just my personal preference. So uh, as far as his accessories go, of course, we have his tail, which you can open it up. And you can have his little, well, if I can get it open, open it up. And you have his sword and tail shield, which you can plug into his hand like so. And you can have him hold it. Oops. You can plug it into his hand, and you can have him hold it. Which looks very nice. I do like that. And of course you can just take the sword out. And the sword just it does the same thing. You just take that kind of peg right there. And plug it in. And it can close his hand around his sword. So he can have his weapons. Which I do like. I'm glad they gave him his sword and shield. So uh, for size comparison. If I can get him to stand. Please stay. Um, here is uh, Black Arachnia. And here is uh, Scorponok. So you can see how they look together. And I think they look nice together. Um, he was released as a Predacon, like in the, the Beast Wars, or not in the Beast Wars, but in the Kingdom line, he was selling as a Predacon. But in my mind, Dinobot will always be a Maximal. 
I mean, he was a Predacon for like two seconds in the t in the original Beast Wars show. So he will always be a, a, um, a Maximal in my opinion. Um, and here he is with a Earthrise Prime and Studio Series 86 Jazz, just because. So there you go. So as far as Kingdom Dinobot goes, I think as a figure overall, he's really good. I do like him. I think both modes look pretty good and I think are just fine. Um, again, the issues that I brought up are just my personal issues, my personal preferences, with being the Velociraptor hands I think are too big and look kind of dumb, and the fact that his arms and shoulder pads are smaller and are really skinny. I just think it kind of throws his proportions off. But as a figure overall, I do think he's pretty good. So, um... I do have a, uh, an Instagram. I'll leave the at in the description if you guys want to follow me on that. But that's going to be all that for the review. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching and have a good one.